Hamlet. But the forest seems to sense her intentions and throw more obstacles in her path. Olishi and the Wise Old Woman Once upon a time, in a small village, there lived a young girl named Olishi. She was known for her kind heart and adventurous spirit, always seeking to learn from the world around her. The villagers admired her, but there was one person who held a special place in Olishi's heart the wise old woman named Ngozi. Ngozi, the village elder, was reverent for her wisdom and knowledge. Her eyes held the secret of ages, and her face bore the wrinkles of countless stories. Olivia also found herself drawn to the old woman's humble dwelling on the outskirts of the village, where the air seemed to hum with ancient wisdom. One faithful afternoon, as Olishi sat with Ngozi under the shade of a mighty barbo tree, the wise old woman spoke of a magical amulet hidden deep within the heart of the enchanted forest. Legend had it that the amulet had the power to grant a single wish to the one who possessed it. The cash was that the enchanted forest was a perilous place full of mysteries and challenges that tested the bravery of those who dared to enter. Eager to embark on the adventure, only she decided to seek the amulet. Ngozi, with a twinkle in her eyes, gave her a small carved wooden box. Inside the box was a map that would guide only she through the twists and turns of the enchanted forest. As only she walked into the heart of the forest, she encountered mystical creatures, enchanted streams, and whispered secrets carried by the wind. Each challenge brought her closer to the amulet, but the forest seems to sense her intentions and threw more obstacles in her path. After days of wandering in the forest, only she found herself standing before a mysterious gate guided by a fierce dragon. Remembering the advice of Ungovzim, she approached the dragon with respect and humility. To her surprise, the dragon spoke, revealing itself to be a guardian of ancient wisdom. To prove her words, only she had to solve a riddle. I spoke without a mouth, and here without ears. I have no body, but I come alive with the wind. What am I? After thoughtful consideration, Olishi confidently answered an echo. The dragon nodded approvingly, and the gate swamp open. The path beyond the gate led Olishi to a magical garden where the amulet awaited. Before she could reach it, she faced one final challenge, a mirror that reflected her innermost desires and fear. Confronting her own self, only she demonstrated courage and self-awareness, causing the mirror to shatter. As she touched the amulet, a surge of energy enveloped only she, and she found herself back at Ngozi's humble dwelling. The wise old woman welcomed her with a smiling face. You have proven your bravery and wisdom, my dear, Ngozi said. Now tell me. What is your wish? Only she pondered for a moment before uttering, I wish for the well-being and prosperity of our village and its people. The amulets glow brightly and a gentle breeze swept through the village, carrying the essence of only she selfless wishes. The villages soon noticed positive changes in their life and only she became a symbol of hope and inspiration. The tale of her journey spread far and wide, echoing through the narration as a reminder of the enduring power of kindness, bravery, and the wisdom passed on 
from the lives of the vulnerable Ngozi.